man. Stay I'm in the sorry. car. Let I'm me sorry. see your other hand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me see your other please, hand. Please, please, please. Both hands. What ended with George Floyd's death began like this, recorded on body cameras. Police approach him in his car. Face away. Okay, if I would, please don't shoot me. Please, man. I'm not going to shoot please. you. Step on face no, away. I'm going to get out of here, man. Please don't shoot me, man. I'm not shooting you, man. Please, man. It was as he was led to the police car that it turned into a struggle. Shown to the jury for the first time, more body camera footage, not from Officer Derek Chauvin, but visible here in the bottom right of the screen. We all know what happened next. Watching it all again was clearly emotional for this witness. He confronted Officer Chauvin once it was all over. Gonna control this guy because he's a sizable guy. Yeah, and I thought I thought he didn't get in the car. Looks like he's probably on something. It is the first time we've heard Derek Chauvin's explanation. Why did you feel the need to talk to Mr. Chauvin? Because what I watched was wrong. And did you feel it was important to tell him that? Yes, ma'am. Earlier, we'd seen images of George Floyd inside the shop where he'd appeared under the influence and paid with a counterfeit banknote. The cashier said he now regretted raising the alarm. We saw you standing there with your hands on your head for a while, correct? Correct. What was going through your mind during that time period? Uh, uh, disbelief. Thank you. Okay. Why guilt? Um, if I would have just not taken the bill, this could have been avoided. The story of that day is what this trial is all about. Ten months on, where it all happened is now a shrine as America relives the last moments of George Floyd's life. Greg Milam, Sky News, Minneapolis.